Hello and welcome to Orthodox Shahada. I'm Kai and this presentation is on the Daif Dilemma. Basically, how in the effort to avoid embarrassment, Muslims themselves end up destroying Islam by denying their own sources and scholars. Think of the following scenario. You are an apologist against Islam. You come across a Sahih Hadith that can be used to refute and or embarrass Islam, only to be told by Muslims that it is actually Daif meaning weak. In other words, the hadith you think is sahih because Muslim sources themselves say it's sahih is actually daif because the Muslim you are engaging with tells you it's daif. By claiming the hadith is daif, it means that the hadith is not authoritative, it is not reliable, hence it can be ignored and altogether discarded. In other words, the Muslim is telling you that you don't have an argument. Despite that Muslims time and time again publish books for Muslims boldly claiming things like, quote, the Muslim scholars have agreed that all of the ahadith in Sahih Muslim are authentic, end quote, you have Dawagandists claiming that in these sources, hadith after hadith after hadith is actually daif. So much so that books like Sahih Muslim essentially become daif Muslim. Sahih Bukhari becomes Daif Bukhari. Everything that can be used to refute Islam is simply Daif. You don't even need to make an argument. Just start quoting any random hadith without even making a point, and the Muslim knee-jerk reaction is to say Daif. However, when the Muslim plays the Daif card, then you've actually won. It means that Muslims are destroying Islam for you. How so? What we know about Muhammad is the sum total of what we find in books like Bukhari, Muslim, Nasai, Abu Dawood, Tirmidhi, Ibn Majah, and a handful of others. The point is that knowledge about Muhammad is capped at some maximum limit. The hadiths and all other sources about Muhammad that we now have is all that we'll ever have. The era of discovering new hadiths is over. The era of discovering new source material for knowing about Muhammad in a positive Islamic context is over. From here on out, everything that is eliminated from the corpus of established knowledge about Muhammad, basically all the question marks and uncertainties that accompany the label Daif, serve only to continually decrease reliable knowledge about Muhammad. As the number of Sahih and Hassan Hadiths approaches zero, the reliable Islamic knowledge we have about Muhammad tends towards being completely daif. In other words, the more Muslims claim things are daif, the less we reliably know things about Muhammad. The less we know about Muhammad, the less Surah 33 verse 21 is applicable. At some point when Surah 33 verse 21 is no longer applicable, then you no longer have Islam. What is Surah 33, verse 21? Quote, There has certainly been for you in the Messenger of Allah an excellent pattern for anyone whose hope is in Allah in the last day and who remembers Allah often. End quote. So when you don't reliably know anything about Muhammad, the entire religion of Islam becomes nothing more than guesswork. You can't be 100% certain if what you do in emulation of what the Hadiths say is something that Muhammad actually did. In other words, a Muslim could be emulating something in a Hadith that some person fabricated centuries ago. Furthermore, you lose the ability to deduce fiqh rulings and establish Sharia and claim it as guidance from Allah. It all amounts to guesswork. If Muslims 14 centuries after the advent of Islam are in disagreement among themselves as to what exactly constitutes the Sunnah of Muhammad and they keep rejecting their own sources and scholars, then Allah did not preserve Islam. Allah encourages Muslims to emulate Muhammad, yet Muslims cannot agree what it is that they should emulate since they either do not truly know what is Sahih and what is Daif, or everything is simply Daif. Moreover, saying Hadith is Sahih comes to mean absolutely nothing. It's empty words because any Muslim scholar at any point in time can come and devise his own methodology and reclassify the hadiths however he wants. 
he can mold Islam to be whatever he wants it to be. Does it make sense to you that Muslims claim that Allah will preserve the Quran? The Quran encourages Muslims to follow Muhammad as the example for all that they do. The hadiths supposedly contain the examples of what Muhammad did. And 14 centuries later, Muslims still cannot agree if these hadiths are authentic. What good is the Quran if the hadiths that explain the Quran are not preserved alongside it? Rather, as time goes on, we come to know less and less about Muhammad. At some point, we can't be certain of knowing anything about Muhammad, and he essentially turns into a myth. Does this sound like the final prophet who was to bring perfect guidance to all of mankind? So the dilemma for you Muslims is as follows. You can either accept as authentic those sources which refute and or embarrass Islam, those things of which you are ashamed, or you can continue to decrease knowledge about Muhammad and destroy Islam yourselves. So Muslims, please do continue to tell us everything is daif. Really, there is no easier way to destroy Islam than to have you deny it yourselves by saying everything is daif. Every time you admit that you know less and less about Muhammad, it means that he becomes less and less the source of guidance for mankind. By all means, stay completely oblivious to the fact that you yourselves are actually destroying Islam whenever you say the word daif.